What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a very early look at the highly anticipated collaboration between Lockhart's and Templeton Tonics. If you watched my latest upload, you already know what this is and how it's made and all the good details about that, except for of course my personal thoughts, which is what I'm gonna offer you today. This is my review of The Hermit. So before we get rolling on this today, my wardrobe was provided by the always awesome folks over at Trendy Butler. And as usual, I'm super appreciative of their picks each month. This is an unpaid feature. And if you'd like one of their stylists to help you with an awesome outfit every month, there is a link right down there in the description for you to get connected with them. And of course, I highly recommend it and I really appreciate them sending out this outfit for this month. Month. But of course, though, we are talking about The Hermit today. This is the collaboration, of course, between Steve Lockhart and Chris Templeton. This was the second project actually that was going on when I was up in Michigan with Steve working on Phantasm. And let me tell you, it was really hard to keep all of this a secret. There was a lot going on there and I just wanted to share everything that I saw with you guys. I really wanted to let you guys in, but we had to keep it a secret. You know, that's just the, the how things work. We had to keep it a secret until the right time came about. But I'm glad it's all finally out in the open so we can just all talk about it and enjoy it. And again, if you watched my last video, you already know the story behind the product and really everything about it. Before we jump into the specs and the rest of the review with this one, though, I want to just make one thing very clear. And that is, even though I was there to film and work on Phantasm, I don't actually have a stake in this collab project. This is strictly Steve and Chris, which is why I'm reviewing it. So I didn't have a real part in formulating it. I don't have a you know a claim to it financially in, in the Hermit. I don't have anything to do with the Hermit. I was just there working on Phantasm. And so I decided to shoot the Hermit as well. So that's why I'm reviewing it. For anybody that was wondering about that, that is why I'm actually reviewing it today. So let's jump into it and first talk about the specs. Uh, according to the brand, the Hermit Matte Clay is a water-based styling clay that's designed to be lightweight with high texture and a great matte finish. On the actual label itself, the specs show as a 4 out of 5 for hold strength and volume, a 4.5 out of 5 for texture, and a 1 out of 5 for shine. It also features a scent of bitter orange, lavender, bergamot, and ode. And of course, it will come in a standard 4 ounce jar and sell for $18.95 US. Looking inside the jar here now, we have our first look at this clay. And if you saw the last video again, you already know this one is creamy. It's not the same consistency as what we saw with the Black Kraken or Oasis. It's light and smooth coming out of the jar, but it's not as liquidy going into the hand as what we saw with those other clays. I think you do get a better look at the actual strength of the product when you start to break it down too. When I break it down, for example, I get a little bit of tack there, not a whole lot, but it gives you somewhat of an idea of how it's gonna perform in the hair. Now, as far as the demos go, I am going to show you two different ways to style this one and none of them involve damp hair. But though, and this is a big but, I actually, found that this clay really only worked for me in one single way. Let's first talk freshly blow dried hair. I'm using a couple scoops here and as I work in the first scoop, I immediately can see how lightweight this clay is. It's so different than what we saw with Oasis. It's hardly dry. It's hardly tacky for the first scoop. It's just gliding through the hair and then virtually disappearing. So of course I added in another scoop so that I could, you know, get something going here. And at this point, I finally felt the dryness and stickiness, but it wasn't extremely high. So if I'm being honest, shaping and sculpting my thick hair, it was a bit of a challenge in this fashion. It just didn't seem to want to control my hair all that much. I did try using my combs and I did get somewhat of a shape here, but I think you can see for yourself that the style is just not at the level we all know it could be. Moving straight into endurance here, this is two hours after styling and we can see it's already kind of struggling, which is why I stopped the clock at two hours. Hours. It's obviously not horrible here, but I do have to report what I see no matter what. And really that's what I saw here after two hours. And here at four hours in, I see it lifting even more and pretty much just 
hardly holding my hair at this point. There is a bit of texture there still and the matte finish is strong, but the style and the hold sadly wasn't enough for me in this fashion. Now I gotta say, even though I am friends with both of these guys and I'm a big fan of what they make, I do have an obligation to report what I see and both of these guys understand that too. You know, they wouldn't promote a video of mine that, that they didn't personally like and, and, they under, and they understand that I can't just blindly say something's awesome if I try it and it's not working for me, which is kind of what happened here. In this fashion, it just wasn't enough to hold my hair. It wasn't enough to thoroughly style it or get me something that I really wanted. But there was another way for me to use this. I did try it as a pre-styler and I had a lot better results. Here's a look at my hair after one scoop blow dried in and it's just crazy how different the result really is. It looks totally different here. It's got that same matte finish, yes, but the hold is so much better and with less product, no less. Go figure on that. I really do love the separation going on there in the front, but here's also a look at what happened after I touched it up a bit with just one more scoop here and I think it really turned out so much better. I was just really pleased with the end result here. And continuing on with that, here's a look at that same style four hours in and it's doing a lot better as you can see. The volume is still a bit low, but the texture and the finish, they're just really nice here. It's a lot better. And that lightweight presence is still there, but it's not super dominant. And for my thick hair, that's really what I prefer it to be. Now for the washout, for me, this was pretty nice. I think the clays kind of made my hair feel a bit dry. And so a shampoo was needed to get it out, but it did not struggle in any way to take it out or anything like that. It came out with one shampoo for me. The scent, I also think the scent was pretty nice. It's really smooth and the oud in there, I mean, is it oud? Is it oud or is it oud? I don't know, somebody's probably already typing out, you said it wrong, whatever. The oud, the oud, it's, it's really noticeable for me in the scent. It's not super strong, but I can really just pinpoint that as a separate part of the scent, but it's still nicely tied together with the other notes. Next though, I do have a very cool update to share with you guys on this product, a little bit of a correction on my part, but something cool nonetheless. Before we jump into that though, I do wanna quickly say, no, this product is not not the same as Oasis or Black Kraken or anything like that. I would think by now that would be very evident, but we both know somebody's either thinking it or they're already asking how it compares to Oasis. And while I despise comparisons, you guys know I hate comparisons for this very reason, actually, comparisons don't ever give you an accurate look at products. They just don't. They just don't give you an accurate look at stuff. But I realize that people are going to ask about it no matter what. So I actually asked Chris, who made all of the products, to describe to me the differences from his perspective between the Hermit and Oasis. And this is actually what he told me here. Whereas Oasis is very present and noticeable in the hair, I wanted Hermit to be something concentrated that would leave the hair feeling extra lightweight and smooth. It's made for those loose looks that change throughout the day, meaning you can finger comb and restyle as many Many times you want and it'll still look great. That is pretty much what I found when I tested it, although I don't think it had enough power as a st strictly being used as a post styler for me. Post styler, it just didn't cut it for me. It didn't have enough power to hold my thick hair. It didn't have enough for me to get a full shape. I do think, however, if you have straight or fine thin hair, something like that, you will get a better experience out of this than I did because your hair is not as thick. It's not as heavy as mine. I also think if you're someone that has a shorter hairstyle, like a forward quiff or a faux hawk or something like that, one of those short textured styles, I think this would really be awesome for you as well. Because again, in that regard, the hold of the product will make itself known more dominantly. Now, a little bit ago, I mentioned a big announcement. I know we kind of trailed off for a second, but are you ready? Are you ready for this big announcement? This is not a limited. I know. I, I actually thought it was myself. I think I may have commented on the last video and, and said it was a limited. I had no idea it was sticking around. I guess the Lockhart's apothecary line is going to keep this around. Also, with every jar, they are giving out one of these awesome hermit tarot cards. They were made especially for this project. Um, I, you guys probably saw it in the last video as well. I think these are very cool. And it's a nice little freebie if you decide to pick up a jar. If you are interested in checking these out, the hermit will be launched 
launching at the Lockhart site on May 31st, 2019. That's next Friday, I believe. Right now I'm being told the launch time is 10 p.m. Eastern time, but that could change. That's just what I'm being told right now. So keep an eye on the Lockhart social media. That's probably where you'll get the, the quickest updates. But at the moment, I'm being told 10 p.m. Eastern time. And I will have a link in the description for those of you that are interested. And if you enjoyed this review, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your buddies, do all that good stuff. I really appreciate that. And of course, I appreciate all of you stopping by today and checking out this video. You take it easy. I'll see you next time.